Hello everybody, my name is Shay Too Sweet, go Shay for short, and this is Editing Shay here. So Editing Shay here is, and I'm going to tell you this really quickly, if you're a Bleach fan, I do not recommend you watch this video because I was bored out of my damn mind. Um. All right, so remember, if it sucks, you ask for it. Now, let's get on to the video. I look like Kirby. Now, I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look. Original link to the creator will be down below, and so let's jump into it. A ziggit. Wrong. Wrong. A. I don't know what that hoe's name is, but we. I'm sure I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Yo, yo, Vor. Yo, what's good, bro? What happened, bro? You remember the dude that we used to go to high school with? He had like the kind of like the Bob Bushy type cut, but it kind of came in his face a little bit. Pause. That was crazy. But you remember he had the big glasses on, bro? The square joints. It looked like two like egos was on his face. Wait, hold up. That sounds kind of familiar. Is that the dude that sat by himself and launched all the time and said like kill the Roy? He had the lisp and all that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly him, him, bro. His name was like Anthony Alexander. Uh, um, was it Eisen? Eisen. Eisen, Eisen, all right, bet. Oh, Eisen, okay, Eisen the violator. <laughs> there you go. So you remember Eisen, right? We went yeah, to high bro. school with him. Was lame as hell, bro, like, bro, we had the big, you remember he used to have the big trench coat on, but it was all white, and he had, like, Japanese symbols on the back? Yeah, bro. Yeah, remember we always used to call him anime convention Eisen? Yeah, bro. Bro, so yeah, so, you know how he was lame as, yo, I seen this newspaper article, right? Bro. He got out of school, went to college, and became a surgeon, right? Yeah. Bro, he just saved the president's life and in the same day got Rihanna pregnant. I just, you know how we just seen her pregnant? Hey, we match. Oh, well, I mean, hers is hot pink, and I mean, like, her wig is way better than mine, but hey, we, like, sort of match. Just from the from no we don't but i mean like she is really pretty like she's really gorgeous oh my god rihanna is amazing looking jesus christ you just want to she's pregnant shay but she's still so hot you know what i'm saying like i thought she was hot before she gained weight hot after she gained weight I, she could be hot with a honey bun in her mouth start confessing things you shouldn't confess i don't give a damn she just beautiful Anyway, on Twitter, ain't no way, bro. Eisen, bro. Eisen, of all people, bro. Like, that's crazy. Yo, the media uh, led us astray, bro. We all thought it was Rocky. It was Eisen? Like, yeah, bro. We thought it was ASAP Rocky. No, it was ASAP Eisen, bro. This man out here getting Rihanna pregnant. He a surgeon, bro. He clapped like the whole Gote 13 pause. You remember? He beat everybody up. He took Yami Moto's powers and all that, bro. I don't uh, know, man. This uh, man is I have no idea. Like what that? No, that's what, what I'm about. saying. I think I really got to do a video on this dude. Yeah, you might have to, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'll bring the mic into you. I'll bring studio too you know all right let's you know get it man let's get it i'm i have no idea what where the fuck did she get that pole from what the hell is going on who's that where the hell did the rope come from I about to say this better not be no damn redo of the healer. I'm like, I didn't know where the pole came from. I didn't know where the rope came. I'm about to say, if I'm about to say the last time I, the last time I, I, I had pink was involved. I was like, Ooh, redo of healer. Oh yeah. You know, this will be nice. And then I just saw wrong, wrong a rope and, and a pole. I was like, if this gives me redo a healer vibes, I promise. I'm cutting the video and we just gonna edit in the Kirby coming in singing why should I worry I'm being dead serious I'm not doing another redo type healer thing I'm sorry it scarred me y'all weird with y'all hand tie all right, y'all, so I'm not gonna lie. There are a ton of things that we could talk about in regards to Aizen and Bleach, bro. And I ain't talking about Clorox. Oh. I'm talking about Bleach, the anime for y'all that don't know. For, for those of y'all that are Patrick, <laughs> bars, y'all might not understand, but that means y'all are living under a rock. You feel, oh my um, God, bro. Yo, somebody Patrick, sign me, but that's neither near there. My point Patrick's is, we are gonna part. talk about a lot of things today, but the main thing that we're gonna speak on is Aizen versus the Gote 13, and then Aizen versus Ishin, Yodoichi Kisuke, and of course, Aizen versus Ichigo, the final time bro because this timeline is absolutely insane the way that he who the f who the hell is oh he cute hey there cherry what's your name 
Oh, he cute. So the final time. And he a, I think he a red. Is that? No, he's orange head, so it's fine. Uh, bro, because this timeline is absolutely insane. The way that he violated the GOAT they 13, like, because when Eisen Toast and Nagin pulled up and then Yamimoto and the GOAT side 13 showed up, I said, bro, are we here for a fight? Are we here for a Pornhub scene? Because the way that what Eisen the did these niggas raw was insane. And I ain't talking about regular raw, bro. He did these niggas dirty, no lube. The way that he finessingly did this while simultaneously talking heavy to their souls. <sighs> bro, this is something for the record books. So strap in as we- Bro, this is giving me redo a healer vibes with all these indie windows. I'm being dead serious, bro. <laughs> Maybe it's the way he's phrasing it. I'm, okay, maybe it's the way he's phrasing it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit to that, but it's giving me redo a heal of vibes, bro. I don't I don't know. Maybe he's just saying something crazy, but uh, I'm I'm gonna give it five minutes, and I promise you, if it's if it's go anywhere where 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 it's gonna have some grape grape scenes, I'm telling you, we we exiting left after this video. Okay. Fuck this shit, I'm out. We talk about my man, Sosuke Aizen, the Soul Reaper Violator. Bro, so we gotta rewind a little bit, bro. We gotta go back to the Soul Society arc because this is where things kind of started off, right? So as y'all seen in the intro, me and my homie Big Vore, you feel me, shout out my brother Or, we did in the beginning, y'all can see that we were kind of modernizing what happened. Everybody thought that this man Eisen was just some ordinary, smeggler, regular ass, square ass captain with some big ass window pane glasses on. Like this man's glasses came with windshield wipers, bro, literally. But then he ends up being the suave, finessing ass nigga that he is, bro. This man faced his own death first of all now recently i found out that him and momo may have had done the nasty it's all but confirmed like like this man kubo keeps dodging the question but he's leaning towards that this man Aizen penetrated momo first off that's kind of weird i understand that she's hundreds and hundreds of years old but Aizen, you are a grown-ass man I, I didn't know you was into that lolly stuff like how you gonna make momo wait 50 years just to give her that so he gets through pipe and then you're gonna fake your death make her think that you died yo this man Aizen said the pussy was so trash he had the office what the hell are you on about? But bro, this man Aizen went the extra mile, bro. He faked his Bankai. He faked everything about himself. But the entire time he had been working in the background, messing around with holification. Kisuke Urahara found out about it, but that man got pretty much banished from the Soul Society. He's in the world of the living. Everybody else that knew about it got punished. Like, I ain't gonna lie, the visors found out <laughs> because they were the ones getting tested on. This man Aizen literally took them and made them test two babies for holification. Turn them into hollows, and then when they weren't good enough punish them man this man literally is the chess master fast forward past all of this bro we find out at the end of the soul society arc Aizen's troop plans that he's gonna go to wake mundo and side with the menos grande the hollows the iran cars etc etc this man's whole plan got set into motion the thing that pissed me off so much is early on he punishes shinigami straight out the gate bro kamamura tried to fight him other niggas pulled up on a biakia all that bro he was punishing niggas straight out the gate yamimoto on the rest Ooh, look at that flat top. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm being dead serious. I just saw a furry. Now this thing got a flat top. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I'm being dead honest and dead serious. I, I don't know. He had sex with a, a lollipop. I, I, I have no idea. Hold on. What? So the crew finally show up. But by the time they get there, this man. What the hell? Is that a rave in there? What the fuck was that? What the fuck is that? Right out the gate, Yamimoto and the rest of the crew finally show up. But by the time they, who the fuck is that? The... What they just chilling? Is that like, what is that like? The... Is that like the after party or something? Like, what data not found? What the fuck is going on? Maybe he just, maybe he's just talking really fast, and I'm not understanding everything. But the... okay get there this man has sent beams of light on him Gein, and Tosin and they done dipped out I think what made me so mad is this man Tosin and Kamamoro's whole dynamic bro because this man Tosin out here the Shinigami Ray Charles himself Georgia Georgia oh, this man talking to Kamamura, talking about I follow the side of justice this ain't justice but when you kind of find out like Tosin's whole backstory and like why he ended up following Ozzy it does make sense I'm not gonna lie but like like in the grand scheme of things though at the time it's like bro how is this justice to 
you. I mean, it is what it is. That, that's neither new or there. For a long time after this, we don't see Aizen again. Like, we see him throughout the story here and there. But we're going to fast forward because I just needed to give y'all the backstory of how this all really started. There's some other stuff that happened, like, pre this that was between Ishin, him, Ichigo's mom, and all that. But those of y'all that read the manga, y'all know if you know. I'm not going to spoil y'all anime only. It is what it is. Fast forward, though. Like I said, oh my God, bro. When we get to this kind of core town art, bro. So it first starts out with him fighting the Gotai 13 and the Visors. When I tell you that he literally violated them, that is an understatement. First off, Hitsugaya was mad because of the whole Hinamari thing, bro. Like, he literally saw this man smoke Hinamari and he still has murder on his mind. Like, bro, this man is YMW Hitsu. I thought he meant like he had sex with her. I'm sorry. I didn't know she died. I was like, why are we having this still sign? Why she... I'm sorry. This could be your favorite character. I'm so sorry. But like all the sexual in the windows, I thought he was actually meaning that just, they just had sex. I, my bad. I, I, I'm sorry. Gaia, bro, he's not playing. But the problem is his Gaia always charges ahead and tries to fight eyes and without a plan. Here we go. Who the hell is that? Oh shit. Oh, he had a glow up. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what we working. That nigga that nigga is the epitome of take the glasses off and brush the brush the, you know, the ugly girl hair out and then she'll die jock. Oh now, look at you. Going up, got a double, triple collar on your head, on your on your shirt, and then your jacket shirt, and then you got the other shirt. Gotta look at you with the collars on. I'm sorry, that globe was phenomenal. I'm being dead serious. It's a nice globe. I'm. I'm Give props to props do. And bro, he has no plan. And Aizen takes advantage of all of this. The entire time, he is talking spicy to Hitsugaya, bro. I think, honestly, he might have violated Hitsugaya the worst out of everybody here, bro. I I'm gonna come all the way clean. He is talking to this man, Hitsugaya, and literally telling him about himself as he's beating him the fuck up. Doesn't help that there are other visors and captains trying to help. It doesn't even matter. And poor Ichigo, bro, we gotta talk about this for a minute. Before this even happened, he violated him. Bro, Ichigo tries to get his distance between him and Aizen Aizen's like bro you only get your distance between people that you have a chance against you don't need to do that with me and then he basically teleports off screen right in front of Ichigo I said damn nigga you Goku it's the transmission ain't it bro he teleports right in front of Ichigo bro he touches this nigga's chest and said exactly like this I can touch your heart even from here bro he touched this nigga's heart bro he heart checked him bro that is worse than getting pocket checked bro like bro I don't know if y'all have ever seen battle rap but yo if y'all know who shotgun shook is he kind of popularized pocket checking people during battle raps bro and that is basically where he will grab your pockets and turn them inside out don't talk about what happened last time we're talking about right now i said a punk nigga right now i'm at the trunk nigga right now i put in your pockets locked right now, right now. Right now. i don't know if his fat ass is looking don't don't uh, you know what i'm going to be honest and serious like i would not recommend pocket checking people from Georgia <laughs> don't pocket check people from Georgia you there's gonna be a Glock in that pocket you better not like my clip hole my clip hole 15 so what what we doing here don't do it I, there's it's gonna be one of those pranks gone wrong and then you gonna be talking to Jesus don't, don't run up Run up, get done up. Like, I swear to God. Run up, get done up. Got shooters ready for a come up. Don't do that. But I mean, like, it's in a battle rap setting. But I'm just saying, don't don't go around touching people because you might get your ass beat. For a hot pocket lint gum. I don't know what he's looking for, bro. Change, but he grabs niggas' pockets. That is worse than that. Bro, this man Eisen touched this niggas Ichigo's heart, bro. He had this nigga Ichigo's paws on his hand. Nigga looked at Ichigo and said, yep, 69 beats per minute, bro. Pretty healthy heart, bro. But like, but this nigga's different. Bro, after that, though, I think the most embarrassing thing is when Ichigo went to go swing at this nigga Aizen, Aizen grabs this nigga's sword with one hand. At least he upgraded, though, because it wasn't one hand at first. It was one finger when he first seen him at Soul Society. This man Ichigo went to go cut Aizen. He was like, ping. 
with his index finger at least he caught it with his hand this time but i'm like oh my god remember him catching it with his hand though pause that was crazy because that's going to be important later for when they fight again bro because oh my god bro the way the roles reverse but, but that's neither near or there back to his ugaya this man's ugaya got violated bro he kept getting talked to so spicy that he was just mad about it and i don't mean regular mad i mean mad to where you're making mistakes but they tried their best bro the combination of hitsugaya karaku uh who else was there uh kamamura uh the big nigga bro what's the nigga with the track suit on he got the gohan track suit green hair he got the afro and shit i forgot the visor's name the nigga with the rose whip joint and some bitch with a spear bro i forgot they names i ain't i'm a oh that's a spear i thought it was a pole earlier i'm so sorry why did everybody get the 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 fashion memo except her like did y'all pick her up from school like everybody why did she the only one with like with the fashion like everybody else got on regular clothes like i mean he wanted to show off his chest okay but why does everybody else got on robes and she's like nah uh pick me up after gym class i got this like i don't get it and and my whole thing is i don't think the dude did anything wrong I, I mean i can't explain what the hell is happening i can honestly tell you that i have no idea i've never watched bleach before in my life but if there's 13 people rolling up on one person i'm rooting for that one person why y'all all coming up and jumping this dude and i already know somebody gonna be like well he was trying to kill everybody and trying to end the world and everything else whatever i just don't give a fuck but i feel like i feel like i feel like y'all you know y'all don't have to run up on a dude like and that's all i got to say come all the way clean the divisors be getting done dirty only ones i know is that nigga send you feel me but that's neither near or there my point is there was a combination attack they tried to get this nigga eyes and up out of here bro and at first i thought that they might have had a chance i was like okay hold on he might be on the ropes eyes is kind of talking to herself internally like damn hold on now these niggas is kind of working me bro like what the fuck is going on but then it happens bro he's talking to kama more directly and he's like see this is the problem y'all's definition of power and my definition of power are two different things this is what i mean by power and you see him at that same time swing his sword down directly in a horizontal line and cut through this nigga Kamamura's whole bankai, this big ass thing that Kamamura got behind. Cuts through the whole thing, cuts him straight down the middle. Bro, I said, yo, why don't you do my nigga Master Splinter like that? Bro, the way that he cut this man Kamamura up, bro, you would've thought that he was about to make Chinese food, bro. Bro, I was about to make General Souls out of Kamamura, bro. <laughs> yo, let me stop playing, but that, that's neither than the order. My point is, yo, he cuts this nigga Kamamura straight down the middle. Y'all remember the dude with the rose whip thing that, you know, had his sword? Bro, he pulls that dude in, cuts him, and then he keeps the rose whip, uses the dude's weapon against the nigga with the afro, wraps that shit around him. Bro, you know when nigga is spazzing when they're using your weapons against you, bro. This nigga is different. Bro, he wraps that rose whip around him, pulls him in, cuts him. The bitch with a spear come. He weave. She come by. She got a hollow mask on. He's like, oh, you mock a Ron car. You shouldn't even be attacking me. The Ron cars follow me. This nigga's fucking spicy. Bro, she fly by him with the spear. He cut her in half. I'm like, bro, I don't know what is going on and then it happens bro oh my god bro i ain't gonna lie to y'all bro like 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 my least favorite captain shows up bro with a motherfucking shanks on bro she shows up with a nub i'm like bro i forgot when they made soy on a paraplegic bro i literally forgot bro but she came out here with a literal stump on her arm bro like what happened to the rest of your arm somebody remind me down in the comments how her arm ended up like that because i can't even remember i ain't gonna lie bro did yami get hungry and bite it like <laughs> i don't know what happened but, but either that's neither near or there she showed up as a cripple bro and she basically like i'm here to win the paraplegic olympic no he's like let me stop but now nah, i ain't gonna lie when soy phone showed up i said okay what is she about to do and then i remember this ops ability that she had the death and two stings and i was like oh shit is she about to hit Ozzy with the double sting joint she about to double tap him like bro like bro, i ain't gonna lie she ain't trying to get no like on instagram bro she's trying to get him up out of here but eisen is just completely built different because as soy phone goes to do this double sting attack on eisen <sighs> At first, I thought Ozzy was about to dodge, but my man, his guy came clutch, and he actually froze this man, Ozzy, and he couldn't move and shit. I'm like, oh, shit, hold on. And then again, Ozzy's talking eternally to himself like he done fucked up. He's like, oh, shit, these niggas actually is working me right now. Like, what am I about to do? So I actually thought once again that they had a chance, and then she hits him with the attack, bro, the death and two stings. And then he looks down at her, and he has her stinger in his hand, Balls. and this man says, ah, oh, the death and two stings. But a battle between Shinigami is one of spiritual pressures. A weak attack like this can never reach me and then the mark disappears
scared. I said, yo, this is not no fucking magic trick. This is real life. This nigga Aizen is different. There's a shadow on the ice. Karaku comes through, you feel me? This man is out here. He should really be the captain commander of the stealth force. Like, what are we talking about? This man really got the stealth. This is like the fourth time I've seen him in this arc so far come out of a shadow. Somebody get this nigga Karaku an award or something. Anyways, that's neither near or there, bro. At this point, bro, I'm like, okay, is this nigga Aizen dead? And then Ichigo looks at him with a face of utter shock and disgust. I'm not gonna lie. This man Ichigo was looking at him like he just got violated, bro. Like, 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 he, he looked at them like he was at a strip club, yo. And one of the strippers put their ass in his face and they hadn't showered for weeks. This man looked like he had smelled something putrid. Like, like he was about to vomit. And he's like, what are you guys doing? And then we look over. And what? they were under the control of his Shikai the entire time. And they were punishing Hinamori. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, she just got hold. She just got hold. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, they had this man Hitsugaya stab Hitamori through the back, bro. One of his closest friends, somebody that he has so much love for, damn near a, like family member to this nigga, bro, stabbed her through her back. And then she's falling down looking at this nigga and she's like, Toshiro, why? And I'm like, oh my God, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. At this point, I'm like, Hitsugaya, you gotta get your lick back, bro. There is no way in the world that you just killed your best friend through this nigga and you're just gonna let it happen. Bro, he starts screaming at this point. I thought this nigga was about to go Super Saiyan. He's like, this man, Ozzy, got a smirk on his face like, na 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 boo boo I made you kill your best friend. na 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 Bro, but he, he's looking so smug right now. This is a guy that goes to attack this nigga. They all go to attack this nigga. And once again, he punishes literally everybody. Bro, this man just clapped a multiple captain level threats in front of my face, bro. I couldn't even believe what I was seeing. I'm like, bro, what is going on? It's bad enough that he had Wonder Ways take Yamamoto's powers away from him for that instant. Because, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Yamamoto's Bakai is different, but I, I guess that's just story writing we couldn't have it overpowered ass Xiaomi Moto out here with an incinerator sword this man out here with his typhlosion sword like fucking touching people at cruise sun this man out here just making people incinerate by being near him like bro he, he's too powerful bro it's that old ass nigga bro like we gotta, yo, chill, yo chill relax calm down but, but this is even your there bro this man eyes and made Yami Moto go to a motherfucking retirement home this whole entire fight bro and he ended up punishing everybody else I think the part that was really crazy though and foul is that this man had been messing with Hisugaya for so long, bro. Since Soul Society art up until now, it came to a culmination of him fucking Hisugaya over, bro. This nigga is literally, ah, damn, bro, this nigga's a demon, bro. That's neither near or there. The next thing that we see is, you know, Ichigo back in the ring, bro. He's trying his hardest, but getting talked to. This is when his sword gets grabbed, right? He goes to attack him, sword gets grabbed. I just starts talking to this nigga heavy, like, yo, every battle that you ever done, I planned it, bro. That was big me, nigga. The only reason you win and that you you can do stuff and compete with some of the people you've been competing with is because of me nigga it's big me nigga it's big soldier nigga big eyes and i was the first nigga to put you on bro he was talking spicy to him but right before he was about to tell ichigo that he was part shinigami this nigga ishin shows up bro and i'm not gonna lie bro Okay, so Carcoon want to be back here, <laughs> y'all. Yo, Carcoon hadn't been here in a while. I know y'all been wondering where's Carcoon at. But there he was. He, nigga just passed. He's lucky because I was. Nigga, I thought Carcoon was the same as Truck Coon. I, I didn't think that was a real person. I oh my God. That's kind of her fault. But what about the victim? Oh yes, the victim. At what point does personal responsibility become a factor in this equation? I, I, I am so fucking lost right now. Um, uh, put it like this. I'm not going to chop it up to his explanation. Okay. I'm not going to chop it up to his explanation, but I am going to chop it up to his explanation. Cause I'm lost a little bit. Okay. So you telling me 13 people tried to attack him. He used some mind control thing, made a marker girl. There you go. And then now the dude with the red, the dude with the orange hair with the crazy mask is about to attack him. And then he took credit for all of it. Is Am I getting this right? Cause I'm being dead serious. This, this, why is this fucking feeling like, like, why is this feeling like I, I've been here before? Like, it feels like, so you telling me I'm just, so you telling me all these niggas trying to kill him. 
He's the strongest nigga out there. Nobody else could kill him. And then you got birds and trying to kill him and all this other stuff. I'm so... I mean, please tell me if that's about right. Because, I mean, like, I'm trying to keep up with the explanation. But I'm just... I don't know if I'm waning or not. But I'm just trying to keep up with what he's, what he's, he, what he's trying to say. I think you know, but that gets a potential, but nigga, that's neither there or there. My point is, bro, this man, he seen is built different, bro. Literally was keeping up with this nigga Eisen, bro. Had him on the ropes, pushed Eisen to his limits. Has a sheen Igami. I'm not gonna lie to one of the coldest parts that I've seen this nigga Ishin do, they were fighting, bro. They was going back and forth. Team, team. They weave, weave, bro. This man, Ishin, plucked air at this nigga Aizen and plucked him into multiple buildings. Bro, I have not seen a feat like that from anybody that had fought Aizen up until this point, bro. This is the first person I've seen fight Aizen, and I was like, okay, he's actually getting with this nigga, bro. Ishin is different. But it didn't matter, bro, because this nigga Aizen has a magical box in this fucking chest called the Hogyoku, bro. And y'all probably know, well, I guess it's more like a circle. That's not. That's don't fucking matter. It's near the there. But my point is, bro, he had a magical ass power in his chest, bro, that, that fused with his soul. And it makes him evolve, bro. It, it, oh my god, bro. It makes. What is this nigga a Pokemon? What the fuck? What is going on? I'm. I'm sorry. What What is happening right now? Like. I have so many questions! Literally, what is, what is going on? Okay. What. This thing, what is this nigga got nine tails in him? What is this? We we're in Naruto. What 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 is going? I bet people from who who like Bleach is gonna be like, you just don't understand. I, I don't. This could be a really slap out anime. I, I don't. I'm not looking. Like I'm watching it and I'm not seeing the appeal of it. And I know people gonna be if you love bleach, you're gonna be like, Well, Shay, you're not giving it a proper chance. I'm trying to, but I'm, I'm the explanation, I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> well, Shay, well, Shay, you know, this is just about the character this one character, not about Okay, I'm gonna tell you this, okay? I don't like Naruto. But Madara made me want to actually watch Naruto. I now you trying to be the diversion, but god damn it. What is so she there for? To stop him, but it looks impossible at this point. Now yeah. look at him. He can drop multiple supernovas at the same damn time. My nigga. <laughs> I'm telling you, you go back in my, you can go back in my stuff. I've been talking crap about my, um, about Naruto this whole time. It actually made me want to watch it. I don't know this, this thing on this character. It's like, uh, I, I don't know, dog. It ain't hidden for me. Hold up. Let me drink some coffee. Maybe I need to pep up or something. Shit. Makes him a sin past Shinigami, bro. It makes this nigga a god, basically. To the point where nothing works on this nigga, bro. Kisuke shows up, yo, the Weezy shows up, and they start jumping this nigga low. It literally becomes the fight back meme. Like, fight back, nigga. Fight back. Fight back, nigga. Fight back, nigga. But it was like he was jumping in, bro. Like, bro, nothing was working. This man, Kisuke, you know this shit is crazy. When this man, Kisuke, gets in midair, bro, and he starts using every hodl he has, literally, bro. Bro. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah. But yeah, I remember my favorite hotto, bro. This man gets up, bro. I got, you know, I got to say the incantation, bro. This limit of a thousand hands. Respectful hands. Unable to touch the darkness. Shooting hands. Unable to reflect the blue sky. The road that bask in light. The wind that ignited the embers. Time that gathered. Can we say one thing besides that it ma I matched the background? Ooh, he got a death grip on them damn flip-flops, girl. Them ain't got no backs on them either. Jesus Christ. And he a pimp. Look at him. I'm sorry. My ADHD is kicking it. I am so sorry, you guys. But I'm too far in this damn video, and I ain't refilming it. So y'all gonna have to deal with that. I don't know what else to tell y'all. When both are together, there is no need to be hesitant. Obey my orders. Light bullets, eight bodies, nine items, book of heaven, the sea's treasure, great will, great fortress tower, aim far away, scatter brightly and cleanly when fired. 
And then this nigga says my favorite thing, bro. And I don't know why this shit is so fire, bro. Sinjo coats inside, ho, bro. That shit goes so hard, nigga. Bro, when he hits this nigga Eisen with that, bro, even Eisen was like, nigga, you think I'm gonna let you do this, nigga, on me? Nigga, on, on me? On me? Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It didn't work. I'm gonna come all the way clean. But one of the hottos that he did use did work, bro. And we gotta talk about that, bro. But, but, but fast forward, bro. These niggas end up getting punished, bro. I'm not gonna dwell on it too long. But Ishin goes and he has time to train with Ichigo a little bit. They end up going to this like hyperbolic time chamber ass shit, bro. I don't, bro, I don't know. But anyways, this nigga Ichigo comes back, bro. And oh my God, bro. This nigga Ichigo is a literal grown ass man, bro. He comes back with long hair and a glare in his eye that even Gen was like, oh yeah, this nigga. Hold up. Did this nigga always have this BDSM chain on his? Is this new? Or I never noticed it. Like what? It, what is? What is this? Is this new? Like, did he go to Fashion Nova? What are we doing? What? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Ass man, bro. He comes back with long hair and a glare in his eye that even Gen was like, oh yeah, this nigga is different, bro. Like, uh, oh my God. Yo, speaking of Gen, yo, I forgot to mention this, bro. Gen had been plotting against this nigga Eisen this entire time, bro. And he tries to kill him, which ends up activating the Hogyoku and sends him into Godhood. But this nigga again, bro, I thought he was going to get away with it too, bro. If it wasn't for the pesky kid, <laughs> I ain't going to lie, bro. This nigga again was about to smoke this nigga. Bro, he got this extendo sword. This nigga has a Luffy Bankai, bro. Like, bro, this shit just it stretches mad long. He stabs nigga Eisen straight through the chest. And Eisen was like, thanks, nigga. Now I'm a god. Anyways, back to the regular schedule programming, bro. This nigga Ichigo is different. Bro, when he comes back, bro, this nigga is talking to Eisen. Spicy, bro. He's like, Eisen, can we do this somewhere else? And Eisen's like, only somebody that has the power to challenge me could say. And mid sentence, this nigga Ichigo palms this nigga Eisen's face like he was about to play basketball. Bro, grabs this nigga's face and his zoom zoom zooms this nigga into a whole nother place bro i don't even know where they went but they ended up in this mountain range bro he pushes this nigga into pokemon legends arceus bro oh my god bro the way that he grabbed this nigga's face was a vile bro but this man ichigo's sword is like combined to his hand i don't know if that's a sign that you've like ascended into godhood or whatever because this happens to to aizen too at some point i don't i don't i don't really know bro but the thing that was embarrassing about this bro and i and i know this video was to hype aizen up but we got to talk about it I Aizen thought that this nigga Ichigo had given up all of his spiritual pressure for physical attributes, bro. Like, he thought that he made a deal with the devil to beat him. Like, he could not fathom that this nigga was strong enough to defeat him. He couldn't even feel this nigga's spiritual pressure because Ichigo's spiritual pressure was too high. Bro, he had to convince himself, like, oh, nah, there's no way that I can't feel the spiritual pressure. This nigga is just, he gave all spiritual pressure up. That's the only thing that could have happened. There's no way that this regular ass nigga is, is going to beat me. There's no way. But nigga, you were wrong, bro. This nigga Aizen evolved like 48 times during this fight bro i thought that i was watching digimon this nigga was like D D digimon digital evolution bro that like mad times bro turning into different monsters and shit none of it was working yo the whole Q was giving this nigga more power creeps than naruto and sasuke in the last great ninja war bro this nigga was powering the fuck out of aizen it just didn't work bro this long-haired ass nigga ichigo was punishing this nigga bro literally bro you remember when i told you before to remember him grabbing the sword there's a part where aizen swings at this nigga ichigo Ichigo catches this nigga's blade. The mountains behind him completely shatter when he does it. This nigga is different. There's a part where he swings at Aizen, right? They swing at each other. He deflects the blade. He blows a whole mountain range up. And Aizen's like, look at me just casually destroying mountains. No, nigga, it was Ichigo. This nigga Aizen was basically using the soy getsu, his own Shikai on himself. The way that he was trying to convince himself that this nigga Ichigo had not surpassed him. Bro, it was almost embarrassing watching it, bro. Like, I, I, I honestly felt bad for this nigga Aizen. And then it happens, bro. This nigga Ichigo, he has his own Digi Evolution, bro. As he uses the final Getsuka Tensho, Moigetsu. I think it's called Moigetsu Final. Bro, I don't know. Anyways, he hit this nigga with the most crazy amount of spiritual pressure I've ever seen in my life, bro. Literally, when he hit this nigga with the move, everything around him went silent. This nigga made every viewer deaf with this move, bro. This nigga's... nigga oh my god bro this nigga is different bro i swear to god the way that he hit this nigga bro and shattered his whole like body bro Ozen's armor like was flaking off of him bro like his skin i don't know whatever cocoon i don't i don't know bro now if Ozen had kept evolving throughout this fight eventually he would have got stronger than ichigo who the hell is that nigga i think i zoned out uh he evolved in, into him
Well, God bless America. Well, that's a glow up and a half. If that's him, I mean, like, hey. <laughs> but he didn't give him time to. What because the fuck happened to your face? What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. Oh my god, what do you have, Melina? What the f- Bruh, bruh. Oh my god, I was not prepared. Kisuke put this motherfucking Hado on him. Or like, was it Hado? Keto? I, nigga, I don't know the difference, nigga. Anyways, this nigga Isaac ends up getting sealed, and, and it's sad, bro. But yo, bro, we gotta talk about one more thing, bro. And this is gonna be manga spoilers, bro. So at this point, I'm gonna have an editor to put the timestamp in for the end of the video to when I close it out, you feel me? But we're gonna talk about something that happened in the manga, and I don't want you guys to get spoiled on it, bro. Because, bro, in the Thousand Year Blood War arc, this nigga Isaac said some the hardest shit I've ever seen. <sighs> I'm gonna give you all a second. Put the timestamp up. Okay, well, I don't want to do spoilers. Um, no, it's not even that. For sure. This is editing um, shit here. So when I um I was watching myself ramble, ramble on at the end, and I just want to just clear this up because it's like I rambled for like three to four minutes, and I can clear this up in like fifteen seconds. The way that he explained it to me was boring. Uh, it made the character sound boring to me. Um, it may, the way that he explained it to me, it didn't make me care about the character enough to actually want to pay attention. My ADHD is strong y'all. And I'm not even BSing. It was really strong during this video and the way that he explained it, it didn't make me care. Um, I, like I said before, I'll say it again. I do not like, uh, I do not like, uh, Naruto, Naruto. I made fun of it. I make fun of it constantly, but Madara made me actually want to watch it. The way that that person explained Madara, it actually makes me want to watch it. The way that this person explained this character did not make me want to watch it. It literally just bored the hell out of me. And I just wanted to be honest and serious. Y'all watch me because I'm honest. Y'all watch me because I'm funny. And in this in this review i didn't feel funny i didn't feel like it was good but y'all said y'all wanted it and that's why i did it um so that's so like i don't even like not putting out my best work because i don't think i was funny at all in this i really don't but it was very hard because i can't i can't fake it and lie to y'all and be like okay yeah i was like this is totally good oh my god it's so great it's not me as a person so I just wanted to put that out there. Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. Make sure you support the original creator. Um, leave your suggestions down below because without them, I can't do what I like to do. And like my grandmother always says, so long.